I am giving you permission to be imperfect. Enough of the thinking, how can I be better? I ate too much at lunch. I've already ruined my diet today. I may as well just give in and eat that cake too. What can I do to be more beautiful? If I can't make it to the top of my hike, I failed. If I could just lose 10 more pounds, then I'd feel good about myself. Perfection. It's a ceaseless pursuit that almost always results in failure. But you're not failing because you're not good enough. You're failing because perfect is near impossible. There will always be someone skinnier, prettier, more interesting, more dedicated, smarter, more resilient, stronger, and wealthier. But ask that skinnier, prettier, more interesting, more dedicated, smarter, more resilient, and wealthier person if they're perfect, and guess what they're going to say? No. Women and men, too, who put so much pressure on themselves to obtain perfection often feel worse about themselves. From plastic surgery to eating disorders, workaholics to sex addicts, do you think they feel good about themselves? Do you think they're satisfied with themselves? Or are they hungry for more and better? You don't have to be perfect. It's like an endless circle, a dog chasing its tail, the Earth's orbit around the moon. It just keeps on going. When you think you finally caught up to it, you're so close. Chances are you'll find another flaw, an imperfection, a snag that can be improved upon, and you'll continue to chase. But at what expense? And really, if you were just a little bit better, more perfect, would it make that much of a difference? Would you really be happier? Pressure to be perfect is often a sure-fire way to fail. It's just like a New Year's resolution to work out every day, 90 minutes a day. You might jump in hard and fast, but burn out before you really get to see any of the fruits of your labor. And then what? You quit and revert back to the unhealthy lifestyle that provoked your decision to start working out in the first place. Basically, deeming the few weeks you spent a waste of time, and therefore making it even less likely that you will attempt again. What would have been the better way to go? Starting slow, gradually building up from a three mile walk to a two mile jog plus one mile walk to a three mile jog to a three mile run and a one mile jog and on and on. And not beating yourself up for missing a workout or taking three steps forward and one step backward or even slipping off the wagon and gaining a few pounds. It's not about if you fall because you will sometimes. It's about how you handle getting back up. And that's why I am giving you permission to be imperfect. Because honestly, perfection is not only almost impossible, but it's boring. Think about the people who are closest to you. Do you love them because they're perfect? Because they're so beautiful all the time, so witty all the time, so smart, so exactly everything on point? No, those people are annoying, honestly. You love the people who are closest to you because of what they might view as their imperfections, their flaws, the things that make them quirky and unique and them. Embrace those things in you too. Love yourself today. Love yourself tomorrow. Love yourself next month. So no matter where you are, you love you that day. If you're thinking about overdoing it. If you're thinking about, well, screw it, I may as well have this entire cake because I already had an extra piece of pizza, so I ruined my diet anyway. Stop yourself and think, you know what? It was a little misstep, but I'm going to take control now because I want to be proud of myself tonight and I want to wake up proud of myself tomorrow. And if I take control now and if I stop the cycle now, I can be proud of myself. But if I let myself get carried away, I'm going to regret and I'm going to regret immediately, and I'm going to regret hard, and I'm sick of regretting, and I'm sick of feeling upset at myself. So I'm going to take control now, and I'm going to make different changes moving forward. You don't have to be perfect. You just have to be you. For more information about me, you can visit my website, Screwing the Rules. You can also buy my new book, Screwing the Rules, The No Games Guide to Love. Because really, when it comes to love, it's about loving yourself first. And if you can't love you, why would he? Thanks for watching. I hope to see you soon.